Hey guys, Mad Max here. I had an idea of a topic that I would start making videos about on my channel uh, that was all about dogs, dog philosophy, and maybe dog training and other things, considering I see it all the time of uh, dogs that are just not well behaved at all. Um, this video may possibly be a little bit controversial. Um, totally open to discussions in the comments, but keep it clean, guys, okay? I don't want uh, rants and fights to break out on YouTube for no reason. So, uh, I already posted one video uh, with my dog, Zeus, on how to get him into the bathtub, which is basically just... my opinion on the matter of getting dogs comfortable with getting in the bathtub, even if they really don't enjoy receiving baths, because you see it all the time. I've seen so many funny videos on YouTube of people who just cannot get their dogs in the bathtub, which is hilarious to me. Uh, I guess that's, that's what they're going for, is just a funny video of how their dog is misbehaved. But um, So I figured I'd go ahead and do a video that is talking about the philosophy of owning a dog in general. Um, again, sorry, uh, I'm trying out the little mic for my phone camera since that's all I got. So we'll see how the sound comes out doing it this way. Um, in all honesty, some people just are not cut out to own a dog. It's, it's as simple as that. Um, dogs are animals and they have to be treated as animals. You have to understand the fact that dogs are pack animals, okay? So the vast majority of your misbehaved dogs, it really boils down to two reasons, in my opinion, why a dog would be very, very poorly behaved. One is that the owners of the dog leave the dog outside. They don't really include the dog in their family. In this scenario, the dog essentially does not feel a part, feel as if it's a part of the pack of the family. Therefore, it is a pack unto its own in the backyard, and it is the leader of that one dog pack. So you're going to have behavioral issues. Um, the second reason is even if they are kept in the house and they're a part of the family, no one steps up, no human in the family steps up to be the leader of that pack. Instead, they let the dog get away with anything the dog wants to get away with. What this results in is the dog taking, upon, taking it upon itself to become the leader of this family. Now, dogs in general do not want to be the leader of the pack. It's very stressful for them to be leaders. So they don't want it, but because dogs are pack animals, and you have to understand this, it doesn't matter what breed of dog you have, all dogs are pack animals. It's in their genes. It's just, it's how dogs behave. There's, there's an order to their lives, their pack. You know, you got your alpha, you got your step down, you know, your second in command, and then you got your peons. <laughs> and uh, I've seen it so many times where the people in the family have become the peons of the pack because they won't step up and be the leader. So that those are your two basic reasons, in my opinion, why dogs are very can be very poorly behaved. And those two reasons all boil down to it's the owner's fault, okay? Because the owner thinks that they're people and they want to treat them like people. And you can't do that with dogs. If you're going to do that with dogs, it's going to be a completely out of control and unpredictable pet. It will want to bite people most likely. It will take charge. It will be very mischievous inside the house. All right, now, now my dog, Zeus, as I've shown in my other videos, he is a Siberian Husky, and this really is even especially true for working type dogs, working breed dogs. So your, your Huskies, your German Shepherds, your Labrador Retrievers, 
all of those bigger dogs that were bred initially to be working dogs, lots of them are very independent. Huskies especially are very independent and strong-headed dogs. So if you don't step up as an owner and make sure that you are the alpha and that dog knows its place in the pack, you're going to have a very misbehaved dog, okay? Um, I see it when I, when I was first getting Zeus as a puppy. I got him eight weeks old. Uh, I was doing lots of research on training methods and whatnot, and uh, it really irks me to see that if you look at training books now, they are all so politically correct that it is evil to... to have any type of negative reinforcement or any type of physical discipline with a dog when you're training it. I think that that is absolutely ludicrous, okay? If you look at any any wild dog, any any type of dog in a pack society, how does the alpha keep the other dogs in check? Okay? It it doesn't give them treats. <laughs> All right? It 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 doesn't pet them. It doesn't only give them positive reinforcement. All right, that that's just ridiculous. Uh, if a dog is stepping up and challenging the alpha, they're gonna get into a fight. It's plain and simple. They're gonna get into a fight, and whichever dog is able to get the other one down on its back, pinned, with its mouth biting the other dog's throat. All right, that's gonna be essentially the winner. That, that's going to be the dog that puts the other one in its place. Now, am I, am I condoning getting into a fight and physically abusing your animals? Absolutely not. All right? Absolutely not. But think about it. If I were to ask you, who do you think one of the most successful dog trainers in the country is? What would you say? And think about popularity as well, because I know that there's lots of, there's, there's tons of very successful dog trainers out there that just aren't very, you know, publicized. But, you know, if you ask the general person, their first instinct will probably be, you know, Caesar Milan, the, the dog whisperer. He's got his own TV show even, you know. And what does he do? You know, if you've watched any of his, his TV show, you'll see that he is dominant and if a dog acts out of line he strikes the dog not in an abusive way but in a way that would r trigger something in the dog's mind of being put in its place by another dog or a leader dog an alpha dog one of his strategies is using his hand almost like a mouth right so he'll he'll kind of hit hit the dog with his fingertips and his fingertips act kind of like teeth and that's that's what triggers in the dog's mind so yes you need to put the dog in his place dog has to know that it's not the leader and in all reality the dog will be ecstatic and totally happy to not be the leader in a pack they want someone else to take charge so if you are thinking about getting a dog, especially a working breed dog, German Shepherd, any of those bigger breeds, if you're thinking that you might want to get a dog, you really need to take this into consideration. Don't, re don't get into all the hype of the training books out there because none of them anymore talk about physical discipline. It's all positive reinforcement, positive um, uh punishment, all this silly psychological stuff that really has more to do with humans than it does with animals. And dogs are animals. You have to understand that, okay? They're not children. They're not human beings, and they need to be treated as animals are treated. That doesn't mean you don't love them. I love my dog as if he were my son. I love dogs. I'm a dog person, and Zeus, he is part of my family, but he knows his place. And that is extremely, extremely important. If you don't think that you're ready for that type of responsibility and for uh, possibly having to put your dog in its place every now and then, then you should really 
think about whether you're actually ready to have a dog or not because not everyone is cut out to have dogs. That's, that's the sad truth of the matter. So I hope that this was educational or informative in any way. Um, I'm going to continue to make videos uh, about Zeus featuring him and different training techniques and whatnot. If you have any suggestions, please go ahead and let me know. I'm completely open to suggestions and I'll, I'll do my best to make videos of um, anything that anybody wants to see in regards to uh, owning a dog as well as continuing making other videos and other topics as well. So uh, if you found that help, this helpful, please go ahead, hit that thumbs up, uh, like, subscribe, share with your friends, and uh, thanks again for watching.